Well, Katrina, Andrew, Hugo, Americans know hurricanes can kill. On St. Simons Island, there's a man with a family legacy that runs back through three of the country's deadliest storms. Bruce Lashan is live on the island with a history lesson from somebody named Julian Smith. Yeah, that's right. And it really is quite the history lesson. Goes back more than a century. One before the other, Julian Smith, his father and his grandfather all helped out after three of the most catastrophic storms ever to hit the U.S. Your grandfather was in a huge storm. Yes. The, the storm in 1900 uh, killed thousands of people in Galveston, Texas. Your father was in a big storm. Yeah. And he was on a relief train that went down, and the train got washed off the tracks by the storm surge. And you were in a big storm. Yeah, Audrey in 1957, houses had been torn apart. Some had floated into each other. Some of the houses or parts of them were found uh, 10 or 20 miles inland. There were hundreds that were buried in simple wooden boxes in, in uh, mass graves. When hurricanes threatened, Smith's family would gather in a house not far from the sea and tell hurricane war tales of pulling bodies from the marshes. And my father and my grandfather were competing with horrible stories. Smith ignored his own encounters with Watch the power of nature, riding out Dorian on the exposed spit of land that's St. Simon's. But he thinks he has learned something from his family's experiences. You've got to stay away from development uh, on the edge of the ocean. You think we have to stop building on the coast. That's right, building and rebuilding. But that really is a tough lesson. Humans have this affinity for the ocean, both its beauty and its fury, and it is hard to imagine what it would take for us to move away. Live on St. Simons Island, Bruce Lachey and First Coast News on your side.